United Nations demands Japan censor their anime, manga, and video games. Says it will protect women. All right. We've got yeah. the UN trying to get Japan to change its ways again. This oh. oh, boy. Here we go again. Here we go again. This has happened several times now, at least one other time. So this would be the second time that they've done this, and they have concerns. They're concerned because Japan largely ignored their last report. <laughs> at least that's what I saw. From the report that Niche Gamer has that I'm going to go over. It, uh, that, that entire topic's re uh, topic reminds me of the clip that recently surfaced. Uh, where I think two Japanese developers on... Fuck, what game was it? They were like interviewed on, on one of the monster games. Where... They had to censor some more female armors because Dragon's Dogma? No, it wasn't Dragon's Dogma. Dragon Quest! I think that's the one. I think I think it was Dragon Quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon Quest. Like, <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. So once clip. again, people from other countries are trying to tell Japan how they need to do things. That's ridiculous. And when you read this report, UN to urge Japan to end discrimination against women. Well, you know, that <laughs> that sounds great. Let's let's stop. Japan is discriminating women. What? Oh my god, Japan? Misogynistic. Not hurting women. Well, some of the main things in this report that they had were censorship on anime, video games, and manga. Regulations. Of course. Of course. So they want Japan to have more regulation on their art, basically. And this is a no-no with this politician, Yamada Taro. Okay. Who pretty much saying? ran <laughs> on being a weeb. Like his whole political... He's like in their house and... He won his position on basically saying, listen, I'm going to protect anime and manga and video games. Based. I don't like censorship. I don't like people coming fucking in and trying based. to change our art. Fucking based politician. What the fuck? That was his position. Unless that's changed, I would love to hear from some of my uh, Japanese subscribers in the comments on this guy. Uh, but he seems pretty cool. From what, I, from what I've gathered on him, I'm pretty sure I ran... A uh, video on him. You I wish my politicians like this. Yeah, same, bro. If we had more politicians that were into anime, the world would be a better place. <laughs> the world would be so much better. They were annoyed that people didn't like localize the censoring and changing their uh, looks, I guess. Yeah, that. I'm. S you know what? I'm so glad that Japan started clapping back. I'm so glad. So fucking glad. It has to stop. Years ago, talking about how he won his political position basically on defending Japanese art, which I thought was pretty cool. Because they do need strong political leaders over there to safeguard the way they do things. Because I don't think they should have to change anything. You should be able to make the art that you want to make. Whether or not it's accepted by consumers or not, that's up to them. But I do believe in free speech. And from what I've gathered on this guy, he's basically a free speech advocate. So okay. the UN did have that meeting, and they had some critiques. Like I said, they're, they're concerned because basically... <laughs> May incite violence against women and... How? Show proof. May. What do you mean, May inside? What's... Give us facts! Uh, Japan ignored their last report. Good! UN committee criticizes Japanese media. May incite violence against women and girls. That's right. 
Because they... everybody that watches anime just gets up and wants to just go beat women or something. <laughs> Cultural colonialism. Colonies, con, colonialism. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I guess I finally know why I'm so misogynistic. That's because I watch anime. I finally know why. <laughs> I finally know why I hate women, chat. <laughs> because I'm a goddamn weeb. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous shit that I've seen in a while. But this has been a thing going on for a long time. And you're seeing corporations buckle to Western censorship. How we've seen it in the video game side of things oh, quite boy. a bit lately, haven't we? Yeah, unfortunately. So there is a concern about this stuff. And it's always funny to me when we see these people go and push Japan to change. These are the same people that run around and demonize the West, calling them colonizers. And the people from the West criticizing the West, by the way, the most woke liberal type of people you ever met. Talking oh about uh, colonialization and all of that shit. And then basically here they are trying to push their worldviews on Japan. It's disgusting. It's sucking disgusting. I imagine trying to tell another country what they have to do. Imagine that. It's true, I punched a woman on the street while walking to work. I watched SAO before I went out. <laughs> it's relatable. This reminds me of the minister that cosplayed Majin Buu. Wait, what? Uh, wait, a Japanese one? Here it is. Japan's new prime minister, Shigeru Ishiba, cosplaying as Majin Buu from Dragon Ball. That's so fucking based. That's so fucking based, man. What the fuck? Why... Why can't our polit politicians be like this, man? Just cosplaying, loving their art. <sighs> like, they bully Japan quite a bit. And Japan actually has some of the most diverse Isn't content the there is. right now? I don't know. I mean, there's whole sections of manga dedicated to, like, gay and lesbian love stories. They're like romance yeah. novels. It's yeah, like, they like are. The whole thing. I There's think it's always called, like, been Yuri and Yahweh or something. Yes. I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. Yuri, um, yeah, I heard those terms. I, I, well, I mean, no. I don't read <laughs> that's this how stuff, he but I know it exists. And, like, that's mainstream stuff you can go buy in stores. Like, so there, yeah. there's more There's more content. Let me put it this way. There's content. <gasps> Our politicians do cosplay the cosplay of clowns. <gasps> oh, my fucking God. <gasps> that's good. Content for everybody. In the, at least the manga area for people over in Japan. But, you know, it doesn't matter because they still have sexy anime characters and stuff like that. And mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm, got to mm -hmm. go. Yeah. How Even dare though they? I was just reading something. And I, I might at least talk about this on Saturday's live stream. This study talking about how women prefer to play as sexy characters. Here's the study right here. Whoa. I'm going to do. I might do a video on this. New research on female video game characters uncovers a surprising twist. Female gamers prefer playing as highly sexualized characters despite disliking men. Uh, disliking them. Despite this. Uh, sure. 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 Disliking them. Sure. Bro, as Esmond said, no one wants to play as an ugly chick. Like, ain't nobody, ain't nobody want to see that. Ain't nobody want to see that. Like, yeah, I like playing as hot chicks and, but honestly, 
I don't mind playing as dudes, but I prefer playing as chicks. As hot chicks, because I want to be hot like them. Nobody wants to play as an ugly bastard, yeah. Or I might just talk about it Saturday, but... Yeah, to be man! It's very interesting. Uh, we will go over it, but... Here's what happened, basically. The United Nations Committee on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women, the C-E-D-A-W. The what? what? A waste of money this is. Not, like, why are you patrolling anime when there's actually, like, real problems... <laughs> Like, for example, some of the stuff in the Middle East with women, like them not even being able to drive cars. He makes such a great point, man. He makes such a great point. Oh my god. That is such a good point. And meanwhile, we got women in America fucking wanting... We got women like Frogan living a high fucking mighty life saying free Palestine and all that shit and advocating for it. But meanwhile, if she lived the way she... If she lived in any of those countries the way she lives in America, she wouldn't live very long. <laughs> she wouldn't live very long, I will tell you that. Oh. oh my god. Give her a day more or less. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I muted this by mistake. No, Sherlock muted it. Some of the stuff in the Middle East with women, like them not even being able to drive cars or get an education or... I don't know, like... Do they still get stoned to death? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even though they don't really try to let that leak out, but yeah. They still do. Having to ask their father's permission to go outside, some of the stuff that happens over there, I, I, I would say that should, that should be higher up on the priority list than, I don't know, draw, <laughs> cartoon drawings and video games, but, you know, whatever. We, we know what this is all about. It's the fact that anime and video games are high up there in popularity and they make a lot of money, so they want to control they it do. and regulate it. So it falls more in line with the rest of the bullshit that comes out in the West. Needs to be more woke. Needs to be more woke. All my characters need to be short, fat, blue-haired. They all need to be ugly. Otherwise, I won't feel represented. But aren't you a woman and that character's a woman? Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not pretty and her being pretty makes me feel insecure so she has to be ugly i feel insecure about an anime character i feel insecure about a video game <laughs> well that sounds like they want ugly sonic oh my god that committee is run by the saudis by the way God damn. God damn. According to Free... Oh, so, has reportedly expressed concerns about Japanese media and the speculated impact it could have on gender and sex-based violence. You know, oh. because people sit down and watch Sailor Moon and then they want to go out and just... Sailor Moon and then I just want to beat up some women. <laughs> Start slamming women around. <laughs> According to free speech advocate and politician Yamada Taro, the Japanese Cabinet Office, Gender Equality Bureau, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs confirmed the contents of their meeting with the CEDAW. However, nothing further was said about the current state of Japanese media. The Japanese government government has been thankfully slow to respond to external pressure when it comes to censorship. Yeah, of fuck that. Japanese media, although the fuck same that. cannot be said for its corporations. And I talked about that a little bit. The companies, they're just jumping to get involved with DEI, and it's quite disgusting. Sad. Disgusting. But for the time being, free speech remains enshrined in Japanese law, with few expect exceptions. Uh, the problem. 
and he's going to talk about this, is that Japan hasn't really seriously discussed any of this yet. Huh? So we're kind of waiting on that, but it's good that people <laughs> like this guy are there. <laughs> the Japanese are like, oh, don't suck your Westerners again. Can we, can we just ignore this? Yeah, yeah just, just leave it on the desk. I, I'll, t I'll send them a letter back like in a month or so. Just... <laughs> Are you gonna take it all this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. They they'll just come around in like a few months again and gonna ask us to do it again. Just just ignore them. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Fight that stuff. Because some of the best Sorry stuff the now sound. comes from Japan because they can it tell does. the stories you want to tell without. Bro, fucking. Yokotaro alone, man. Yokotaro is such a fucking genius. The guy who made fucking the Nier, right? Like, the Nier series is so good, man. The Nier series is good, and it has a hot chick. <laughs> it has two hot chicks, A2 and 2B. Like, bro. You know, for the most part, people breathing down their neck on what it can and can't have and what's right, what's wrong. They can pretty much just create what they want. We get some of the best stories from Japan, in my opinion. Yeah. At least now we do. It used to be a little bit more even, but honestly, like some of the best shit is anime now, in my yep. opinion. And you yep. might not share yep. it. Yep, 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 yep. Chad, you watching Dun Dun Dun? That shit's so fucking good. Has anyone in here watched Dun Dun Dun? Y y Watch it. It's actually so good. It's so good. It's crazily good. I I remember there was this Twitter discourse where this fucking chibi reviews guy got like hate for like sharing some scenes on Nandaran. And I was like, okay, let let's check this bitch out. What what is this bitch about then? Like the anime, I mean. And I went to check it out to see, like, if the anime is actually, like, trash and if well, he didn't deserve any of the shit he was coming from, but if he was talking out of his ass or if the anime is actually good. That anime is so fucking goaded. Dundadun is so fucking goaded. I wait till the season is complete to binge it in one go. I always um, recommend watching it as it releases, because that way it stays longer in your brain. Because if you just binge it all in one go, it's like, in your memories later on, it's gonna be like a blur. Know what I mean? But there's great stories that come from that country now, and we don't really get that much from Hollywood, because everything is either political or tries to be inoffensive. Like Venom 3 pretty much tried to not I still gotta watch anything. Venom. Did, did. And uh, is Venom three good or bad? Oh no, I'm scared. I love Venom one and two. Uh, it's just it's we're living in wild times. So here's his statement. This is what he put out, and I showed you his post a little bit ago. Uh, this is just his post translated. No. On October 29th, the Committee of the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women published its <laughs> concluding obs observations on, Japanese, on Japan's ninth periodic report. This was prepared following a face-to-face -face review of the ninth report oh boy, on the implementation go. of the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against... So, it's discriminatory... Discriminatory? Discrimin... Discriminatory. Discriminatory? It's discriminatory now that a woman is hot. Hot women don't exist. That's... discrimination. <laughs> women can't be hot anymore. Am I getting this right? Am I getting this right? <laughs> Oh boy, how far we've fallen. Kids, do you feel discriminated by being hot? I feel discriminated being a woman, obviously! Bro! Grr! I'm a woman! You all hate me! <sighs> oh my god. Cat. Fuck 
fucking cat. How dare they make women hot? I like hot women. Cancel him! Kids is a woman of full. No! Women, which was held on October 17th. Women. Now, here is Coffee the emoji. statement that Yamada gave today on social media. In this final opinion, concerns were expressed that pornography, video games, manga, and other animated products may incite violence against women and girls based on gender or sexual orientation. And I hate how, how uh, naughty videos, basically hentai is, I think, probably what they're talking about here, are being mixed in with video games and manga. Also, Japan's, unless things have changed, uh, rules on that stuff are pretty strict. They are. At least from what I remember. They really are. Like, rules on the hentai. They got to censor the entire pussy. <laughs> Everything is hella censored there. And that was back to some fucking older laws. It's crazy. Blue head and fat is the new hot, I guess. <laughs> Be gay then. Oh, boy. They censor Booba too. <sighs> Do they? Man. Yeah, if Yamada son a perma position as PM. The GIF? Yeah. Japan has, has the strictest porn rules, not counting the Middle East. Yeah, look away from the Middle East altogether. Hey, sure, look. Right, unless it's changed, I, there's already rules and regulations on that stuff. Huh. It further recommended effectively implementing existing legal measures and monitoring programs to address the production and distribution of these things like video games and animation products that reinforce discriminatory gender stereotypes and reinforce uh, violence against women and girls. However, the government, the has government! confirmed the content of the face to face screening, but no questions were asked about manga, anime, and games, despite not being checked during the face to face screening. And Wait, company what? expressed its concerns. The company. So they didn't even check it and they still like, yeah, well, fuck this. No. No, women have booba out. Not good. Women with booba. Women, hot women. The cute anime girl. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. Boy, oh boy. Expressed its concerns. The one-sided content denies the freedom of expression in manga, anime, and games and calls for them to be cornered through legal action and Corn. surveillance, which is extremely unjust. We will... Consider requesting that the sources and grounds be disclosed and also requesting a retraction if this is not possible. Yeah, we, should, we should give the UN to review Berserk, see how they feel about that, right? Yeah, you're right. Should do that one. So that's his stance, and his stance is against censorship. In short, he's trying to say that Japan has done well. Isn't, isn't that crazy how the UN... Let's be honest, this is mostly through the US, Don. You guys have pointed that out, that out uh, too, that they are trying to take away the expression of free speech from someone else? Isn't that crazy? So much, so much for freedom. Freedom for me, but not for thee. To keep creative expression free so far, but the government hasn't fully decided if it will keep things as they are or introduce new limits based on outside advice. They haven't really seriously discussed it. So because they have not discussed it or talked about it, uh, he doesn't know what the future is. But as of right now, they're doing a good job of letting people pretty much do whatever they want. So that's the latest in <laughs> attempts to pretty much keep Japan under their thumb. I don't know. I think we probably are going to see some some more censorship in time. Unfortunately, I feel like some censor censorship will keep coming because they're just not going to release the games in the... Like, they will just not let Japanese games be released in the West. So to comply with it, they will probably do some censoring. I mean, they obviously already did that with, like, Dragon Quest, right? So some censoring, unfortunately, will happen. Which sucks. Blue-haired Karen, no! Thin and hot women not allowed in any media! 
Everyone has to be as miserable as me. Everyone has to be fat like me. Because if not everyone is fat like me, then I feel called out and be reminded of how fucking shit my life is. <sighs> but hopefully they have people over there like this guy that will fight it off and oh, let them keep making what they want. But what does it matter if you already have corporations bending the knee? This other ar article from 2023 kind of talks about that. This game right here was censored by the CERO, which is their all ages board. Basically it's like, so what do we have over there? ESERB or whatever they call it. Video games kind of regulate themselves. It sounds mm -hmm. like they've got an article, like a company or a, a group that does that over there as well. So, you know, hopefully things don't get bad over there, but Savvy put out a post on this too, and she pointed something out, which is true. There's really no evidence that says that anime and manga is going to hurt anybody. Like literally they how? How would it do that? Oh, boo -hoo, there's a hot chick on the screen. No. It just kind of, and even if there is like some kind of study, it's a social science study and social sciences have a massive replication problem. And what that means is they might do something in their lab at whatever company or school, but if some uh -huh. other school or company tries to replicate it, doing, uh -huh. which means doing the same study, uh -huh. a lot of the times it fails, which is a problem, especially for something science-based. You should be able to. Didn't we talk about this on video games? Like Man violent was debunked years ago. Yeah, but there's still adamant that it happens. I mean, obviously, whenever I play GTA V, I also want to go and shoot up a school in Minecraft. That's just natural, right? Don't you? To replicate it wherever. As long as you have the instructions and what you're supposed to do, you should be able to make it happen. And that's a big problem for the social sciences, which does all the research on anything talking about stereotypes or discrimination or prejudice, anything like that falls under a social science and they're not very reliable, at least result wise, in my opinion. Anyway, no. that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you in the comments. All of, also, if you would please share the video, like the video, subscribe, like video. hit that good notification video. bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Good video, good video. There you guys go. That's, yeah, I am the hypocrisy, right? The hypocrisy of the UN slash the USA. Western culture. It's ridiculous. Please just protect anime. Yeah, we gotta protect the anime. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, here in the EU, the Vatican, <laughs> the fucking Vatican set. Anime bitches. Anime. <laughs> maybe, maybe the world isn't that bad of a place. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, well. The next pope needs to be a VTuber. Yes, yes, absolutely. The, remember, folks, the Vatican approves anime. Remember that. Remember that.